What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Meg, and I'm back with another video. Today is the Ring the Bell Challenge. Oh! I'm so excited for this. I'm so ready for this. <sighs> now, I am a little nervous because bell pepper ain't really my absolute favorite thing to eat but i'm gonna do it anyhow uh first of all if you are new to the channel thank you so much for being here before you leave this video make sure you hit that like button leave me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you are on this video that means you are either already subscribed or you're watching and you're not subscribed so if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe okay all right so um Thank you again for being here. For those who have returned to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all my mom, my new and my old. I appreciate y'all. So, um, getting right into it. This challenge is called Ring the Bell Challenge, created by Sincere Team and Michi85. Um, now, it's a little different than your regular stuffed bell pepper. This is actually going to be a bell pepper sandwich. Leave it up to Trudy. Eat a bell pepper sandwich. <laughs> Leave it up the truth. So, pretty much what it is, you gotta have four toppings and stuff it inside of a bell pepper and eat it like a sandwich. So I was a little nervous because I didn't know which bell peppers were the best to eat. Um, but I was told last night um on Brittany Plus Seven that um the red ones are the best ones because they're, they're pretty sweet. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, four ingredients, bell pepper sandwich, 16 ounce water, and call out three people. So by the end of this video, you gotta stay tuned to see if I'm gonna call you out, okay? Um, now I'm also gonna mix this video with um, the 2021 recap. I was gonna do a whole different video, but I wanna go ahead and get it out before it gets too late in the year, right? So I'm gonna do that along with this. And, uh, yeah, but of course, when you finish the bell pepper, it's not a time challenge, so you ain't got to rush and stuff your face. When you finish, you got to ring the bell. All right. So, um, here's what I got. I just, I was going to do breakfast. Y'all know I love a good breakfast, but I decided to do a chicken scramble bowl type of thing. So I got some chicken, um, scrambled eggs in the chicken, um, Pepper and onion blend, you know, bell pepper and a bell pepper. And I mix a little heavy cream in there just to kind of make it all nice and wet. And I got some cheese to go on top, Fiesta blend, and some yum yum sauce, y'all. <laughs> the yum yum sauce so far. Whoo, eat it on everything. I put that on everything. So, uh, yeah. So I got this five ingredients, really. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get to stuffing. When I tell you the chicken is hot, I don't know if you can see that stain, but I'm going to show y'all in a minute. I probably made too much chicken, to be honest. But I'm going to stuff it. <clears throat> y'all. Mmm. <laughs> y'all, Trudy Lee bell pepper was so big. It's <laughs> <laughs> mm. so funny. Her thing was so big. I was like, Trudy, uh, how can you, like, it was, she was eating that, that thing, I know, about 20 minutes alone. But this look good. I was going to do a sausage scramble, but I was like, why not do a little chicken? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, this chicken. Yeah, if I know it. <laughs> yeah, I made, a, I made a lot, but I wanted to either have enough than I have, make too much than I have enough, right? So, put the rest of that in the middle. I got a little cheese going on top of right here. Ooh. And then, I wish the cheese would melt. It's hot. It's really, really hot. But the cheese probably ain't going to melt quick enough. So, I got a little yum yum sauce to go on there. Uh oh. It feel right on now. All right, let me just pick up one of these because mm. Ooh. 
Yo, how am I going to do this? <laughs> I'm going to make this into a sandwich. Truthfully. Michi, what y'all done got me into? Oh, okay, there we go. I'm going to this stuff out of the way. Because you can't be in my thumbnail. Period. That pepper got some pep, pep, pepping and step, and that chicken is finger licking. Mm. <laughs> oh, this gonna be gone. Mmm, this gonna be gone. It's too little. Damn it, that's good. That's real good. Mm hmm. Mm. And the thing is, with the inside, you can't really taste the pepper like that. Or you can taste it, but it ain't like overwhelming, like a pepper, overwhelming pepper taste. I'm glad I cooked enough. A lot. That's fine. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's real good. That's real, real good. Now, this is supposed to be a healthy challenge. Um, we on the health kick this year, you know? But. Everything in here is keto, okay? It's keto. Don't try it. I'm gonna put a little more sauce right here. That yum yum sauce, man. You can put it on everything. So, 2021. Come on, bite. Mmm. Yeah, good gone. Quit. <laughs> 2021, y'all. Let's talk about it. It was a great year. Um, did a lot of amazing things. I kicked my YouTube channel back off. I started back up in August on um, my YouTube channel. And it was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, But of course, like anybody else, you had some ups and you had some downs, right? Let's start with the downs. February 2021. My car decided to act up. My name is Paula. DM Paula. If you did not know. She decided to act up on me. So, that was a little, it was rough. You know, not having a vehicle. Trying to get around. Whatever, whatever. It was rough. Alright. Um, and then, um, Finally got my car fixed, so all, all that was good. It was great. Fast forward to um, a highlight. I went to Houston. That was my first. No, I went to Chattanooga, Rock City for in June. But Houston was like my first big trip. So my first and only really big trip um, of the year. So that was fun. Got to meet some amazing people. Um, Trudy Lee and that, that, that connection has been solid ever since. So super, super excited about that. But, um, when it comes to losses, I took a lot of losses 2021, y'all. Um, starting off with a friendship that I had for 15 plus years. Been knowing this girl since I was 15 years old. No, no, not 15. Um, like 10, 11. A long time. Um, and some people just, I mean, just in a nutshell, just don't really understand boundaries. So, it came to a point where I just couldn't befriend somebody who felt like I was only a friend when they needed me and I was accessible. You know what I'm saying? And that's a tidbit to take away. Like, people have to respect your boundaries and know when you're able to handle their stuff 
Because you can't handle everybody's stuff. You can't, you don't have the mental capacity to deal with your own stuff, let alone somebody else's. And just okay, you just okay. You don't got to apologize for that. You ain't got to feel like you're a bad friend because you can't always be there for somebody. If they don't understand that, time to let them go. So that friendship is down the drain. I wish her the best. If you're watching this, I love you still. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... I told y'all that August, I started back my, my doing my videos on YouTube. I took a year hiatus. I don't know why. <laughs> it just kind of happened. And oddly enough, the last video that I did was September of 2020. Um, and I did a video with my friend Giorgio. I did a seafood boil trying to be love sauce. And literally, y'all, a year later, um, he passed away. So that was another big loss. So it's like, it's crazy how I ended my, my YouTube with him on it and then now he's gone you know he's just not coming back you know what i mean so we never did another video we never did anything else together as far as youtube is concerned of course you know he we, st we still talked and kept in touch but he's gone so um that took a toll on me he was very sick you know and he tried his best to get better but things just didn't work out that way um but 26 years old you know and he is out of here you know so it made me look at life a lot different um, every interaction that I have has to be genuine. It has to be lasting. You know, make memories and keep people close to you that mean something to you. You know what I mean? Um, another friendship. A friendship of like four or five years ended because of selfishness. I'm not going to go in deep into that, but um, people are just <laughs> only really care about themselves, to be honest. Um, and Chevy was there the whole time. She just, she saw all this just unfold. Um, people just really only care about themselves and what they want. And they don't care if it's right or wrong. <laughs> you know, they don't care. So, a little friendship down the drain. Um, fast forward to December. Holidays came around. Well, Thanksgiving came around. I learned that a friend, a dear friend, a close friend, a brother was in the hospital. Um, uh, so of course I was praying, praying, praying for him. Um, he was in the hospital for a month. December 29th, he passed away. Uh, and that one almost hit worse than Giorgio because it was sudden and it was, he was only sick for a short time. Like, he just kind of, like, happened. Like, it just really took him over, you know? And it's just so strange. And I found myself kind of day-to-day, like, Damn, man. Like, and he's just obituary right here. I don't want to get dirty. Um, my friend Greg. Um, I said a brother to me. Ten years strong. <laughs> we did some of everything together. And he's gone. And I I don't I don't have the words for myself. I don't I don't know what to say, what to do, what to think. It's just super weird. Um, so I took some time off of YouTube. Because of that, not intentionally, but it just, it was so hard to pick up the camera, learning that he was gone. And just, it was so hard to get back into the swing of things. Um, but thank y'all for praying for me and uh, keeping me lifted when it came down to that. It's another thing that's going to be day by day to to help lift my spirits and to realize and, and actually recognize that he is for real gone. And I don't believe it's real. I don't believe that he is not here. But, again, it is what it is. Um... Let me take another bite. Mm. But, on top of the losses, I had a lot of gains. Um, my business is doing great. Um, of course, you have up and downs with a business. and Y'all know that. It is what it is. My YouTube channel is definitely... Um, Getting up there. <laughs> what I tell you, I think when I started in, back in August, I had like maybe like 200 something subscribers, maybe. Um, and now I'm at 630 something. Um, so I'm so happy for everybody who has came along this ride and joined the mob and really, really enjoying my content and people that I've called family. Like, I don't want to call everybody out because I know I'm going to miss somebody, but. Y'all support me way more than my friends and my family do, man. So I thank y'all so much for just being here and enjoying my channel and enjoying the content. And yeah, man, it's, I tell you, it's blowing my mind how much this has grown and what it's looking like. 
I got a bright future and I know that whew, it's, it's finna get big. I'm telling you, it's finna be big. So I'm excited about it. Um, But for 2022, I'm just wanting more, man. I just want more. I need more. Like I said in my live yesterday, it's so much money out here. It's so much opportunity out here. Um, It's just so much. The world is so large and it's so big. And I just need more. And I'm going to do whatever, like I said, whatever it takes to get it. Um, And that includes this. This YouTube channel is going to be more. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's a year to double. I want double everything. Double portion is in my favor. So that's what I'm praying to God for. And I believe that's going to happen for me. I don't have no doubt that it will. Um, by any means necessary. You know, legally, of course. We're going to get some legal money around here. But I am praying, praying, praying for 1K by um, March of 2022. Mm. Mm. Hold on. Oh, this is a little low. I gotta turn it up. Hold on. Ring the bell! Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> um, I'm finished, y'all. It's so good. I want some more. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping for 1K by 2022, March of 2022. Um, I know I can get it. I will get it. And with y'all's help and with the content I'm gonna be pushing out, it's gonna happen. So. Um, yeah, it's 2021 was was good. It was bad. It was all around, but we're here now. Um, that's the past. All we have now is the memories, and we got to just keep moving forward, keep pushing. So, thank y'all again for being here. Thank you for watching. Trudy and Michi, thank you for creating this challenge. Um, it was fun. It was great. I'm going to call out three people. I'm going to call out Sweet Re. I'm, I was going to call out Mahogany's Palace, but she know I didn't did it. Um... Who else can I call out? Okay, Sweet Re. Um, I'm going to call out Embry Family. And I'm going to call out... Justina! Justina! J-U-S Tina, as Britney Plus 7 said. <laughs> but yeah, Sweet Re. Embry family and Justina Walker. Get to it. Get to it and do it. Hurry up. Let's go. All right. 2022 Ring the Bell Challenge. I did it. It was good. It was great. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, all that good stuff. Your girl Meg is out. Peace.